Hi everyone, this is the last part of the lunar eclipse um, special that we are doing with um, Dr. Pai. Um, I hope you guys followed the part one, part through, part through, really Sal? <laughs> Put yourself together. Part two, and then now here comes the part three. Now, to, to recap of, uh, also, uh, to sum it all, okay, um, I just want you guys to, you know, um, to feel that it's not something to be scared of. Also, it's something to be prepared of. So there's a big difference. When you're aware of what's going to happen, then there's nothing to be feared of, you know, because the f fear comes from the not knowing, okay? Um, but us giving, um, you know, us being given this kind of knowledge, which is very helpful as far as this, uh, um, this lunar eclipse is approaching, then um, um, it's more of now that we are aware, we are empowered, and we know what to do, when to do it, and you know the right things to do about it. All right. So here comes um, the last part of our interview. So thank you very much, guys. Um, this is for the lunar eclipse um, for the July twenty seventh. Hold on to that uh, energy. Exactly. <laughs> but whenever it goes even uh, uh, direct, you have to know it's stationary. I see. Usually, Mars is stationary for a couple, uh, one or two days. So when at that point, whenever it's going to go retrograde or whenever it is going to go direct, that is the point when Mars is extremely powerful and it is able to give you that raw energy, raw power to fight, to, you know, to go and lash out at people. So if people are lashing out at you, it's always better to retreat. But if, you know, push comes to shove, you have to be brave enough to put a brave front. I'm not saying be timid. Or shy away from your responsibilities. If there is something which is, uh, you know, exploitational, you need to end that exploitation that has been happening in your life. This is the right period for that. Yes. To break things because K two always brings break. If that, if you've been always been la lamenting, saying that I am not enjoying my job, I'm not been enjoying my, you know, my superior, my boss, my manager is very very tough on me. Maybe this is the time when you really want to say I want to end it all. And you know, I'm not saying this is the time, but you will force it force you because this is something as a karma that has been residing within you, and you want to break that. And this is the time you would break it. I see. Because I mean, I refer it to like being eclipsed out. Like there are things really that is just gonna be taken away from you, so that yes, you know, and it's hard yeah. to hold, you hold on to it. It's just like it's just a struggle. It's going to explode because yeah. if you hold on to it, it's going to be like a volcano. Yes. It's just going to explode. Mm -hmm. So it's better to have an implosion than to go for an explosion. Implosion is internally, you know, trying to Im implode rather than go out in the world and explode. Oh. And that can happen. Yes. But that is something that you have to know and you have to avoid. Right. So these are the things that is related to the houses. Then I'm going to talk about the zodiac signs very quickly. I know um, in the interest of time, but I this video, I want that people shouldn't want to go to any other videos to see what is happening in their life. Yes. I just want to give them the flavor. So cancer is again, milk, mm -hmm. you know, and emotions, forgiving nature, motherhood, being very sensitive, all watery places like tanks, bathrooms and milk boots, wherever you get milk, these are all connected to cancer. Import export is also cancer. Shipping, transportation, Grocery, you know, and vegetable shops, all, all of these are uh, you know, cancer, including, um, you know, um, uh, hospitality management, like hotel business, restaurant business, all of this is cancer. So these are areas where you would feel heavy energies. Yes. You know, distilleries, you know, bre breweries, distilleries, uh, mineral water, uh, you know, plants where this water is being, you know, bottled, packaged water. All of this might have some area of, uh, you know, problems. Yes. I'm Even today, because I have a parcel and, you know, like we post your code, I open it and it's the first time I open it, nothing was there and it, it says delivered. So I had to go through the, the front of the house, the front desk, and then I asked, and then they said it's like it probably wasn't delivered. So they have to verify again with the shipping company, which it hasn't happened. And, you know, as far as I like, yeah. the first time, it's like, that is very surprising. But for me, it was like, if there's a delay, it's like it's not for me to, to like I could have gone and uh, got mad already. Like, where is it? Where is it? But for me, it was just like, okay, if it's not here, it's not yet the time. <laughs> exactly. When the time is right, I think you will get the uh, the item in your, right. in your hand. <laughs> Maybe it's not the time. 
yes. you know, maybe there's something. So the next sign that I feel where this eclipse is happening, uh, you know, where Mars and Ketu, that's the energy of Capricorn. What is Capricorn? Capricorn is where the the soldier who gets dirty on the battlefield, Capricorn is where the Mars gets exalted. So it's all about, you know, Capricorn is about uh, secretiveness, sometimes, you know, not less secretive than Scorpio, but still secretive, ambitious, um, being very pragma pragmatic. Mm -hmm. And usually these are areas which are co connected to slums, uh, you know, and areas which are dirty places, you know, where there is no organized uh, structure, mm -hmm. it's unorganized. And of course, knees, remember this, knees. Mm -hmm. And your, uh, your security personals, like, you know, the, the guards and, uh, you know, the security people and everybody are connected to uh, Capricorn. There might be some areas of distrust there. Capricorn is connected to all which is packaged uh, food items. So try to avoid any packaged food. Get everything which is fresh, fresh food, fresh vegetables, not the canned stuff or you know uh, bottled stuff. You don't you want to avoid that because Capricorn is also about the pesticide pesticides that are being used. Mm -hmm. So there might be some element of poisoning that can happen. So food poisoning because your intestine is very important because that's the next point that I want to say is how you can actually go and cleanse these energies. Why? is because uh, the other area that I want to say is the nakshatra angle, the last bit, okay? Before I go to the remedies, I want to give certain um, guidelines what people can follow and what are those things that... Let's look at uh, pushya. What pushya means is pushya is connected to lungs. Mm -hmm. the, the body part of the nakshatra, which is the constellation of pushya where this eclipse is happening, where sun and Rahu are very together, lungs, intestine, and ribs. So these are areas that could have some problems you might have, you know, um, if you're asthmatic, there could be more problems with the, uh, you know, um, uh, this wheezing mm -hmm. and uh, chest related infections and then intestine. This is the most important. Why? We put a lot of uh, food in our body. So I want to say during an eclipse, it's always better to go a little bit uh, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. You know, not from any perspective of any uh, religious belief systems or nothing that are. It's just that when you put uh, food in your stomach, which is, uh, you know, meat, mm -hmm. it takes a longer period of time for it to digest. Right? And when the eclipse is happening, the, uh, because this, there is less of sunlight or when there is less of this energy, which is more. So digestion, metabolism, the fire in the belly is lower. Mm -hmm. So it is not able to digest. So what happens? The, the, the meat remains there for a longer period in your intestine, which can really be harmful for your body because it's like it is rotting in your stomach because you need the fire power, the, the digestive power to, and the metabolism mm -hmm. to really help. Okay. So these are the areas that I would say where are the areas which will impact the most. Let me tell you first. Uh, Rahu and Ketu, both these nodes are connected to reptiles and snakes and where they dwell. Mm -hmm. So those areas are something that will feel the energies. You might see more reptiles on the, the land. You might see more uh, snakes and serpents and, you know, chameleons and uh, whatever, you know, if you're living in the desert area, all the types of reptiles can be seen on the ground. That's the, inf that's to say, you know, how these, um, these lunar eclipses or eclipses Eclipses are generally panning out. You see more of reptiles, more in nature. Mm -hmm. Secondly, where I would say there would be some sort of uh, disturbance, especially in institutions which are related to secret service, like the CIA, uh, you know, the FBI, there might be some scandals or something that might come out, some dossiers, some things would be leaked, like the WikiLeaks, something might be leaked from the secret service agencies. Okay, and Pusha is also connected to poisonous chemicals and drug stores. Uh, so, and also Pusha is also very, very strongly connected to uh, um, illegal prostitution and, uh, you know, uh, por pornography. Pornography might be on a high. You would see a lot of people, you know, going and drug peddling. Mm -hmm. These are all. And the most important, where I feel that you have to be more careful during eclipses, is not to fall into the false cults and 
uh, religious uh, institutions where you can be drawn into because of these uh, nodal energies. And these, this might not help you if you want to go into and then you find that you have fallen into the wrong community or the wrong tribe or the wrong institution or the wrong uh, you know, belief systems or wrong cults. So you have to watch out for these. Apushya. And then Shravana is what is, Shravana is all about wanting to hear good things about you. Mm -hmm. And when the eclipse happens, you will not hear good things about you. You know, you would want to hear right. more good things, but you will always want for recognition. You want fame. You want mm -hmm. people to say, oh, you've done a good job. Even after working very hard, you don't get those recognition. You don't get that. So Shravana is also about ear. Shravana means ear. So problems with the ears, hearing, uh, limb, because it's the knees and the legs. So mm -hmm. there might be some uh, areas of limbs and knees that can be uh, impacted. It's also connected to conveyances. You always check because uh, Shavana is called as a Chara Nakshatra, which means it's a movable uh, constellation. So you want to check the pressure in your tires of I your see. car or whatever, because that would be very low and that can give you spine related problems, back related problems. So always go immediately and check if you have not you check the pressure of your car tires, go and do that immediately to see whether they are before this eclipse. Because otherwise, if you have lower back problems, maybe that is the problem, you know, I to see. be associated. So all Shravana is associated with libraries, universities, schools, colleges, public auditoriums, recording studios, mm -hmm. where recording is happening. You know, these there could be issues, there could be delays, there could be some uh, problems in these areas, including... Uh, telecom companies and uh, hospitals. All these areas are where, uh, you know, Shravana energies are very high. So you might see, uh, you know, some issues re related to these areas of your life. I see. Now, um, Dr. Pai, I know we're moving forward to the different part, but I, I'm, we've mentioned Mars, we've mentioned Mercury being in retrograde, but as far as Capricorn and Saturn also being in retrograde, now, is there any um, insights that you have for that part? Because that's big. That's is absolutely big and that's a very good point that you brought up and I want to say Saturn in especially not only in such years it is sitting uh, in the head office of Jupiter in Vedic astrology we call it the Mula Trikona mm -hmm. of Jupiter Mula Trikona means it's the head office and it is sitting in Mula Nakshatra Mula means the roots the the source the foundation and when Saturn is retrograde there, it is only going to say that you're going back to your roots. You're going back into deep research. You are going to come up with some great secrets will be revealed over the next couple of months. Okay. And you will see all that what the governments have been trying to hide from the common people, mm -hmm. the people in authority will be challenged because the people can see common men are, you know, Saturn is the common man. Mm -hmm like you and me right okay so the government the people in authority in you know administration you know civil uh, services they will all be exposed the things that they have been doing to keep us on you know in the darkness that darkness will never be there after this eclipse many of these dodgy deals which the government have been doing in the defense systems why i say defense mars and Keto together all defense deals are usually clouded with a lot of, you know, um, um, kickbacks that right. they get, huge kickbacks. Right. The governments get, and a lot of these government officials and, you know, people. Anything done under the uh, table will not. Under, under the table, yes. That's all going to come up, especially the defense deals, because defense deals are the easiest to make, um, to have these kickbacks, because you can, in the name of national security and interest, right. you can always say, we can't reveal that information where this money has been spent and how much has been spent. You can give a figure, but how it was spent, no details right. can be given by any government. And that's where, you know, most of the budget of the income of people, the taxes that you're paying is right. going there right. in yeah. buying, you know, buying weapons, you know, mm -hmm. buying, you know, um, uh, you know, warfare aircrafts and uh, making bombs and all of this, that's useless. Instead of that, if that money can be utilized, because these are the places where all these big, you know, people can make money yes. in different countries. Mm -hmm. That's the bribery. So all these things are going to come up. There's no way, there's no, no way you're going to hide this. 
with this eclipse coming in. So I want to tell people, be rest assured, we have a good things coming up. We will see what is for real and that Saturn is going to bring. Now, from a personal perspective, how are we going to go through this Saturn is retrograde there? Firstly, I want to say we need to ground our energies, which is called as Bhuta Suddhi. Bhuta Suddhi means trying to cleanse the five great elements. And how do you do that? Mm -hmm. By walking bare feet on earth. Remember, people say bare feet. Why? Because bare feet today, even science has proven a lot of degenerative diseases are removed when your bare feet touches the mother earth and it rubs with the soil, especially the grass. Walk bare feet on grass. I it see. grounds your energies. So, the frustration. Like a park would be ideal, not on solid ground, concrete now. No, 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 not concrete at all. I'm just saying Mother Earth. When I'm saying the red soil mm -hmm. or the grass, I see. walk on green grass. That's best for grounding. Not, not on concrete, not on the tiles that you are inside the house. No, that doesn't give you that energy. So the feet has the receptors to absorb the the earth and the earth forms a connection mother earth forms mm -hmm. a connection with you and you're grounding that another great way of grounding is gardening and watering earth which means watering plants that's right. another beautiful way of trying to connect with this retrograde saturn mm -hmm. and the third most important which people would uh, you know despise or people would do, like to do this and that's the best way to really really went out your frustration and your anxiety and curiosity and you know your breakups and your relationships is there's no better cure than going and hugging a tree i said <laughs> that be hugging a tree <laughs> hugging a tree is really really and the older the tree is you see it has the ability to ground you it's like a mother it has the roots gone very deep and can ground you hugging trees are a best way Mm -hmm. You know, I don't recommend remedies. This is the best way. Watering plants, mm -hmm. gardening, taking care of Mother Earth, walking bare feet, on, not on concrete, as I said, not on concrete. Green grass mm -hmm. or the soil in a park. Mm -hmm. Okay? And third thing, what I want to say uh, with you know, Saturn and Moon, which is going to have an impact, is water. Habit of saving water, conserving water, pure drinking water, not having, if you have leaky taps or if you have, you know, water being, uh, you know, this is very, very important because what I call water as blue gold mm -hmm. in, in two decades from now, I wouldn't be surprised that water becomes as equal expensive like gold, mm -hmm. you know, because when you have your gasoline or your gas gone from this, Right. Gas, I'm saying, I'm talking about, you know, petrol, petroleum mm -hmm. products are gone in 2025 years from now. I think water is going to be pure drinking water. I'm not talking about, you know, there will be still seas, right. but where do you get the real water? Drinking water. The pure drinking water. That will be the, the, the biggest thing, I would mm -hmm. say. So retrograde Saturn is great time for going back to the roots and learning astrology, learning any occult sciences learning any esoteric sciences because mm -hmm. it will only help you to reinforce your belief systems and to be much more stronger from internally. Mm -hmm. It's more of a self-correcting science. Let me, let me reiterate. Jyotisha, as we call Jyoti Isha. Jyoti is the light. It's the supreme light of the, the supreme being. Or it's the self-luminous light of the supreme being. It's called Jyotisha. Mm -hmm. In India, we call it Jyotisha. In the West, we call it Vedic Astrology or whatever we call it. So this is about the light, which is the inner light of God. And for that, you need to really connect with Mother Earth. There is no way that you will be able to find the inner light if you're not connecting with the birds, if you're not connecting with the animals. You know, there's no way just sitting and meditating is not the only answer. Mm -hmm. Meditation is something which is internal. But if you can't uh, collaborate and uh, be in tune with the cosmic principles. I'm not talking about man-made laws. Mm -hmm. You know, these, uh, you know, the traffic laws, which are all governed by man-made laws. Right. The laws of nature are always will be there and always survive even after we are gone for centuries. And it's always there ever since time has begun. And it will always remain, you know, till the end of time.
that can't be changed man made laws can be changed mm -hmm. if you're driving on the you know on the right hand mm -hmm. side mm -hmm. today tomorrow it can go on the left hand side that is possible mm -hmm. so that's something you know you go to uh, britain they always drive on the left hand side in the us it's the right hand side mm -hmm. isn't it so those are man made laws those can be changed mm -hmm. the cosmic laws cannot be changed So this is what you recommend for um, as far as like Saturn is in uh, retrograde is absolutely grounding going back to your walking. walking yeah going back to your roots walk more because there's no substitute for walking and walking is the best way and you know many of us we want to go walk with uh, you know a couple of friends that's fine I don't mean to say that but sometimes you really need to go on long walks on your own because your mind that is when you're walking your mind will actually try to find solutions for your problems. Yes. Walking alone in whenever it is raining, I would say walk alone when it's raining. Let the drizzle fall over you. Right. And many of your things that you have been worrying about, yes. you get answers, you get solutions. Mm -hmm. There are only two places where you get solutions. Usually when you're very, very you're seeking and you can't find any answers, you know, when you're in the conscious state, one is your subconscious state. That is when you're in a deep sleep, you get many of your answers. Many of the theses were written. You know, I did my doctorate, most of my thesis came, you know, some of the pieces where I was blocked, I was challenged for months together and I was uh, very close to quitting my, um, you know, research, uh, research studies at least three times in my career of, uh, you know, when I was doing my uh, post-graduation you know, mm -hmm. or my doctoral studies. But eventually where I found the answers, my answers were when I was used to sleep and then I used to get up at, you know, um, half past three in the morning and run to the lab to start doing those experiments because I was so excited because something has come. And many a times I got my answers in the deep sleep. Even after months of working on them, sometimes no results, no results, nothing. I wanted to give up. Mm -hmm. But my guide always used to say to me, Arjun, I can let you go off now. But remember, whenever you face a challenge in your life, you'll always take the easier, easier route of quitting. Right. And he said, you know, winners never quit and quitters never win. Right. So this is the message I want to give to everybody. You know, this might be the uh, a very challenging time, but don't give up. Hang on there. That's what the Saturn retrograde in Mula is saying. Go back to your roots. Go back in internally. Mm -hmm. Try to, you know, um, reinvent what is happening in your life. Change the life patterns. It's the same patterns are repeating. Um, um, to go on a reboot and a hard reset um, as far as like exactly you know, absolutely hard reset hard yes. reset on yourself basically yeah mm -hmm. so that's great okay so now um, since we've discussed um, part of um, Saturn retrograde uh, where are we moving now what would be the next uh, um, some of the themes that I want to say which will really help you now I'm giving you certain remedies that you can mm -hmm. do uh, to help you, uh, you know, before an eclipse and after an eclipse. Firstly, I want to say, you know, try to avoid uh, having meat or even buying meat a couple of days before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you want to have meat after the eclipses, you right. know, after a day or two after the eclipse, yes, do it. Uh, a day before eclipse, try to avoid meat or keep meat away. It's not for any religious purpose, it's only from your body perspective, mm -hmm. how you can reserve and conserve that energy for better meditation and going deeper into meditation, because this is the best time for you to, and that's why keeping uh, a kind of a mini fast is also very advisable because your stomach is empty, your mind is completely focused and your spine and your head and your you know torso are completely going to be aligned. And when you go deeper, you will feel eternal bliss. Mm -hmm. The bliss of the light which is coming inside you, because it's the it's divine energies which are going to flow through you during this eclipse. Mm -hmm. So be prepared for that. That's one thing. Secondly, what I want to say is, um, before an eclipse, typically traditionally in India, what they do is they have a shower before the eclipse, and after the eclipse they have a shower, which is like more of cleansing. Mm -hmm. So before an eclipse, you're preparing yourself for going into a meditative state it's more about purity purity of the the body mm -hmm. purity of the mind mm -hmm. and purity of the soul when they all of them are aligned it's like the earth the sun and the moon I so see. body is important i see you know so 
that's another thing that I can advise for people if that is convenient because it's a working day, it's a Friday, yes. it's Venus. Um, so another theme that I want to say is uh, cleansing and uh, you know, cluttering. It's like spring cleaning. Get rid of right. all those things that you don't need. Anything that you have not used for uh, more than six months, it's very unlikely that you're ever going to use them. Just mm -hmm. think about it. I I anything in your life. Get more uh, potted plants at home. Burn white sage or uh, uh, Palo Santo holy sticks, mm -hmm. you know, and swir uh, you know, swirl it in the anti-clockwise direction in the home before mm -hmm. an eclipse. It really is going to energize the environment. Mm -hmm. After the eclipse, it's a good idea to, if you are living in an area which is, uh, you know, moderate climate, then you can always open all the windows and run all your water faucets. Why? Because the, then the energies are going to come back, the fresh energies. Because yes. what happens? Yeah. Is that after yeah. that? After the eclipse, after a couple of hours after the eclipse, mm -hmm. you know, um, maybe after two, three hours after the eclipse, you can always go. Or, you know, if it is working, because it's uh, 2.20 p.m., I think, in Pacific time. Mm -hmm. So one of the good ideas is maybe after you come back from work, uh, just before sunset, open all the windows, okay? And mm -hmm. then let all the water faucets go on. Yes. Why? Because that's water is a great element of taking those uh, energies and mm -hmm. let the fresh air come in and then flush all the negative yeah flush it out mm -hmm. so flush and all the taps are open for about mm -hmm. you know a couple of minutes just right. be very careful if you're living in places where there is scarcity of water please don't waste water as i mentioned mm -hmm. this is only for you to cleanse that energy mm -hmm. only for a couple of minutes right okay but be very sensitive of not wasting water where there is scarcity of the water right and when, yeah, I would out, uh, yeah. Pai, when they're doing, um, for example, the remedies, it's always to put the intention when they're doing it, not just open the window, open the window. No, 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 no. It has to be, open it has the to window of from, your, from from within. Sincerity it's not energy. only the physical window, doing it. I'm saying, not the physical window and the doors and the water faucets. It's also opening the doors and windows of your body. Right. You know, all the chakras open and let the water come and flush it. Right. Just so that they, they that's why we take a shot yeah yes so you go through that process yes. and whatever has been kept inside whatever has been pent up whatever has been you know weighing upon your shoulders you need to get rid of them yes this yes. is the time to really let go because you know what is it's like a have you seen the serpents they shed their skin yes you know from time to time because mm -hmm. when they when they rub through the ground the skin becomes worn out and they shed their skin mm -hmm. so we as human beings we can't we don't learn to shed our skin when i say mm -hmm. shed our skin i'm not saying shed, literally right i'm saying the astral skin the karmas that have been attached to you for many mm -hmm. years or I, I i kind of don't like this friend of mine you know right for so many years i can't stand him or i can't stand her you know what she says it's always you know made it uh, gratitude prayer and just say, God forgive them, I forgive them, and I just want to let go of that weight from my body. Mm -hmm. Let go. This is the best time to let go, dissolve all those uh, you know, things which have been bothering you, just dissolve mm -hmm. because nothing is going to change right. if you don't dissolve it. Okay? okay? So then I would say get more essential oils like eucalyptus, lavender, you know, uh, tea tree oil or lemongrass or something. That will actually raise the vibrationary energies of the space in your house. Now, when you say not a great to get or essential oils, do they? Uh, how do they uh, use it? Uh, do they... You can have a diffuser. You know, diff I diffusion diffuser, equipment. Yes. Like a, you can use a lamp, yeah, diffuser. Mm -hmm. Through that, you can do it. I see. Okay, that's a very good way. Um, you can and people who have uh, you know white quartz or uh, crystals like uh, black tourmalines are very good for clearing out negative energies. Mm -hmm. See, another good, very good way of uh, knowing if there is negative energy at your home is to keep uh, a lemon. The lemon. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see, yeah, a lemon. Not, don't cut it. A full mm -hmm. lemon. Keep it. Okay? And see for a couple of days. It returns, you know, brownish and it's become very hard and, you know, it's, that means it has absorbed all of them. There's another way of, you know, cleansing the environment is by keeping sea salt. Keep bowls of sea salt. And if you see that sea salt becomes soggy, that means it has absorbed a lot of negativity. It's good to flush that, literally mm -hmm. flush that. Don't, you know, in, uh, through your, um, and then put a fresh piece of, uh, you know, sea salt. 
I see. Black tourmalines are very good for uh, avoiding, you know, people's uh, negative energies, which right. are out. You can wear a bracelet of black black mm-hmm. tourmaline or wear a black tourmaline pendant or whatever. Mm-hmm. It helps you. Finally, I want to say, listen to high frequency music, soothing Zen music with flute or you know small drums that can really activate you after the eclipse. I see. After your meditative state, you mm-hmm. once come out, and when after the uh, eclipse. It's also a very good idea to go for um, uh, a bath, uh, for a bath which uses Epsom salt. Yes. Epsom salt and a little bit of lavender oil in your bath tub, and you can soak yourself and you can uh, rejuvenate and open your chakras and you know get good chi flowing back to your body again. Yes. So these are certain things I would say definitely you can do, um, and this will really really help you. And it will make you feel like you have been reborn. Just imagine this is kind of a rebirth for you. Mm -hmm. This is a great transformative period. And uh, invite anything, whether it's good transformations, bad transformations, everything is a part and parcel. It really helps you to, you know, change your mindset Mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, change and shift the consciousness. And to that's a collective consciousness that you have to move towards. And collective consciousness is not with those people that you have, you don't find the good vibrations. It's a collective consciousness that you move towards um, the bright light, the, the the energy of the the cosmos. And but uh, uh, what one thing I want to ask also, Doctor Pai, once you've done all the the, the remedies or the, that one, is to um to be very particular about cutting cords. Also, is that is that something that is important? Um, as you have done Absol- the process of yes. absolutely cutting cords. Uh, of attachments is a great time now because mm-hmm. when Mars and Ketu are coming together, mm-hmm. okay, there is a, a Vedic pantheon god called as Kartikeya. Okay, he's a son of Shiva and Parvati. Shiva is uh, the, the most masculine form, and mm-hmm. Parvati is the most feminine form. It's the yin yang. Okay, Shiva Parvati union is called the yin yang. It's called you can also see a shivling. Their son was called Kartikeya. He was the commander in chief of the godly forces. Mm-hmm. And he always has a spear in his hand. Okay, and he's the greatest warrior ever. A six year old, six day old boy who slayed a demon it was called Tarakasur. Six day, six days. It was only six days when he wow. slayed a demon. And that powerful is, he's six headed and he's mm-hmm. very said to be very, very powerful. Now, what is his job? is to help you cut the cords. Imagine yourself that you have all these attachments. We are completely attached with your, with your mother, your father, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, your children, everything. Mm-hmm. Your sister, your brothers, everything. This is only a physical bond here in this plane mm-hmm. for this physical body, mm-hmm. but not for the soul. The soul has gone through many experiences. It has had many fathers. It has many mothers. It has many sisters. It has many wives and many husbands and many children for this is the bondage of this plane for this body this mm-hmm. is the vehicle so if you don't start cutting the cords so one of the visualization techniques i tell to people to break this cord and this bondage of which is keeping you in the materialistic realm is to look at the the spear of uh, kartikeya coming and you know breaking the cords that you have attached here so Detachment, but when I say detachment, doesn't mean that you have to sit inside a room and lock yourself up. No, right. that is that does not detachment. Detachment is remaining in the life and celebrating your existence mm. in tune with the cosmic principles, not to you know to uh, alienate yourself. That is not mm. detachment. Detachment is walking with people, but not showing any uh, you know favoritism or any mm. you know. Any additional favors, just because they are your friend or they are your sister or your brother or your sister, the same treatment to everybody. Okay. So you you speak sometimes you speak nicely to certain people because you know they are your best friends, but certain people you are rude. Your employees, your people who report to you, you might be rude to them. You know people who are your uh, uh, who who help you at your home, maybe your maid or, or your you know. Your domestic help, being rude to them, no. That is something, what I'm saying, detachment means it should be equal. 
everybody yeah. should be given the same attention, the same love, the same compassion has to be shown. Mm -hmm. And that is why we say detach yourself from your family, your things. It doesn't mean that you have to seclude and go to the, the mountains and start meditating in a cave. No, that right. is not the answer. The answer is leaving here and performing all your duties as you have been ordained to mm -hmm. and then enjoying them. You know, celebrating your existence is the most important thing. If you're not celebrating your existence, then what is the purpose? This is what Rahu is trying to tell you. Rahu mm -hmm. is trying to say, I'm giving you all these materialistic pleasures, which is the North Pole of the Moon. Right. And once you have gone through all of that, then Ketu is saying, now come to my realm. Now become more spiritual. Right. Now become more. So too much of partying one day and the next day you see that this person has gone and he's sitting at home and meditating. He right. says, no, I've had too much of this partying and these nightclubs and, you know, too much of socializing. I really want to. So another very good idea, I would say, Sal, to all your viewers is reduce your social interaction. Try for one day not to go on Facebook. Try mm. one day not to go on Instagram. And this might be something that you can follow for life. You know, choose in a month, a couple of days, I'm definitely not going to touch my phone or my you know thing and I'm not going to go on social media. Right. Use that time to build something and create something for yourself, for your future. Because today what is happening is the world is on social media. It's a fake world. What is a fake world? It's an illusionary world that you're living in likes. Yes. You know, how many likes you've got? Mm -hmm. It is an illusion. It's a Rahu. Mm -hmm. What will those likes do to you? And then you're flipping to other people's pages and your Instagrams and you're seeing how many likes they've got, what pictures they've put. Mm -hmm. This is a waste of energy and waste of time. Mm -hmm. There's not adding any value to your own self and your mm -hmm. spiritual progress or your materialistic progress. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So make a conscious decision today. Right. How much of and YouTube and how much of social media uh, you want to do? Once, once a, once a, you know, one day in a month maybe. Okay. So because I'm, I'm just gonna refer to in that context because it's like we still do we. I mean, we still do address that Rahu part of satisfaction, so that once we realize that you know in our awakening that this really doesn't matter or it doesn't have yes. sense then that's the route that we go to now to our K2, which K2. is K2. and exactly. It's internalization. Yes. It's self-actualization is what is Ketu. Yes. You know, Rahu is externalization. Mm -hmm. It's about wanting. We all need that fame. We need that recognition. Yes. Right. But being too much in that realm is not going to help you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to come back and take stock of what you are in mm -hmm. reality, in real life, in real you know, flesh and blood. Forget about this social media. You know, right. you put up pictures, people will like it. You know, okay, right. I've got 500 likes for my post. You know, you feel mm -hmm. so good about it. It's good to feel that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you need to know that's a fake. Those likes, right. you know, are not what is important. What are the likes? If somebody, you are going to an orphanage or you're going to an old age home mm -hmm. and there, if people give you a like, even a, one lady, old lady says, thank you, son, for coming right. and helping me and give a pat. That is more it gets more likes in your karmic record than these 500 likes that you get right. on social media. That mm -hmm. is immaterial. That's important. I'm not saying that is not important. That is important, but you need to see the both yes. worlds. Yes. You know, serving the needy, serving the you know the poor, and serving and going to birds and animals. These, mm -hmm. this is where feeding. You know, your, uh, in India we have these street dogs and we, you know birds. Mm -hmm. Feeding them is such a joy. It gets you more likes in the world of cosmic, you know, mm -hmm. principles. The cosmic energies are higher within you. Right. Anything else? I mean, I think I've shared, I think it's been a very lengthy video, but I, I wanted to make this video because I want people to really learn. Mm -hmm. um, and one more thing, uh, last final thing, people also ask me, okay, what should I wear? Try to avoid wearing, uh, you know, black and mm -hmm. blue clothes, especially around necklace. Mm -hmm. You know, wear pastel colors. White is good, you know, or something. It's just to help you to, uh, you know, channelize your energy better. Second thing, keep away from cigarettes and coffees because coffee bean is Rahu. It mm -hmm. activates Rahu in you. People who have a habit of drinking too much of coffee, they are addicted. You know, they have a, a Rahu activation. Mm -hmm. Too much of, of coffees are not good. 
and um, green tea you know the old green tea is also rahu you know donating that or giving you know old uh, chinese tea to somebody offering that is also helps you okay. mm-hmm. donation of coffee bean is good i'm not talking coffee powder i'm talking about specifically coffee bean is rahu mm-hmm. secondly garlic and uh, uh, you know ginger these are very uh, uh, you know rahu i say yeah so avoiding these garlic and ginger during that specific time can really elevate your uh, see rahu is very important for you to go into the deepest state of meditation but when you have these rahu items within you it doesn't allow it blocks smoking alcohol try right. to avoid this if you want to get rid of certain habits always donate cigarettes if somebody is saying you want to quit smoking i would just say i would want to give cigarettes to somebody who's sitting on the street who's a beggar just give him a packet of cigarettes or give him some you know offer him a cigarette and just say there you go mm-hmm. i'm not saying that you have to spread uh, you know uh, it's not like you're, you're encouraging right. people to smoke <laughs> but if somebody is smoking is a smoker you can go and offer him a cigarette or give him a mm-hmm. i'm not saying you know go and give it to anybody who's not non smoker that's mm-hmm. not my intention but i'm just saying the arahu element has to go through you i see okay um did we cover everything is there anything else that you want to discuss uh, dr pai as far as yeah the- i think you i've covered most of it because mm-hmm. i've covered houses what it's going to impact mm-hmm. i've also said you know the uh, the zodiac signs yes. from a sidereal perspective yes. then i talked about the nakshatra angle as well kushya and shravana and it, i said it's a guru purnima that's the day and this is the final thing i want to say honor your teacher and never disrespect any teacher this is the biggest lesson for life i want to give you might not like their teachings you might not like what they say just stray away but don't pass comments about somebody who is a teacher or who's wanting to spread some knowledge mm-hmm. okay because we do not know their perspective from what they are speaking mm-hmm. and i want to say this to you sal today is you have been a teacher for many people you've been doing a lot of great service for people and i i hope that people recognize your services and honor you that day you know and that gives you a lot of blessings from people i hope you know people pray for you know all the teachers because that's a guru purnima it's a day for you to honor you know people and people do it out of compassion and love people don't want to come and do these videos and spend their time they want to really share something which is valuable that can be life changing and life transforming and sal comes and does these videos for you people and i think i'm very very grateful that he's been doing this selflessly that's the most important you know how many hours he must be putting in doing this so i want to pay a lot of gratitude to you sal and uh, for this uh, you know eclipse which is coming up and it's a guru purnima and on behalf of everybody i want to thank you for being a teacher a guru a mentor and a guide for so many people Oh, it's, so, my, it's my uh, it's my pressure and my honor also. I'm having you um, as far as like the first one also discussing this uh, energy, and as far as the channel is also growing, I, you know, it's like I'm very happy that um, like big uh, how to call this um, as far as like the knowledge of being aware and how to work with the energies with with your help. Um, a lot of the viewers will be able to get their guidance also on how to help them. from within so that it can help as well as you know the people or the energy the environment around them at the same time yeah and a final word i want to say so because most of the discussions were based on vedic so i want to tell to all people who can go and download uh, this app called cosmic insights it's uh, on um, you know iphone yes uh, you know on your um, you know uh, iTunes store as well as on android you have to go to google uh, store and you can uh, mm-hmm. go cosmic insights astrology it's a free download and you can see many of the features there which are uh, free and some of them are paid but you can also have a choice but you can see a lot of things you can do your own chart mm-hmm. uh, on that app and you can see from a vedic perspective you can also see from a tropical perspective where these placements are mm-hmm. and thirdly because we have I have had so many people wanting to come and know personally what this eclipse means to them we have started us uh, we have just put down a service just yesterday uh, and we have given uh, and this is exclusively for your viewers 
we said let's give a discount of 15 percent it's called and the discount code is called as eclipse 15 you can go to our website www.cosmicinsightshop.com and you can go to the consultation page and you can see there if you want to know more mm -hmm. personally what this eclipse would mean to you or these three eclipses would mean to you mm -hmm. you can always go and book for a consultation uh, with us okay now just for all the viewers who's watching i'm gonna be putting everything um with all the information for dr pi services together with um, his app which i use every day <laughs> to check what's going on with the planets and all those um services will be at the description box as you wish to um of course consult dr pi which um, for me in my perspective i have consulted dr pi and on my end um <laughs> Until right now, I was like, I'm still in awe on how, how Dr. Pai um, has read my chart, which is very, very amazing for me. <laughs> okay, Dr. Pai. Thank you. So, yeah. um, thank you very much for, for gracing us with your time and with your knowledge uh, sharing to all my viewers. Um, I hope too that we can um, uh, you know, um, uh, do some follow-up at the same time uh, later on. Definitely. I'll be happy for anybody of the viewers who have other questions, we can post them in the comment section and I will make sure that I can come and answer some of those. And maybe Sal, if you want to break this video into three parts, I leave it to you. If you want to break it because of the size of the video, you want to break it into three parts and then release them, you know, so that people can watch it in small capsules. That is fine because it's a lengthy video. Right. So I leave it to you, you know, yes. or whatever. Okay, so, but thank you very much. All okay, right, thank you very much, Dr. Pai. Have a wonderful yes. Uh, morning. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that ends our interview with uh, Dr. Pai, and hopefully we'll be having him on board uh, for more um, interviews um, like this, especially when there are special transits that are, um, you know, happening um, um, sooner in the future at the same time. And if there's anything that you guys need, um, the, uh, the description box also for Dr. Pai's services. I wish you guys have a wonderful um, evening. And yes, um, so I guess uh, this is it for now um, and signing out. Bye. Bye, guys.